Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design. And in this video, you're going to see me start to learn my way through mining cryptocurrency. This is something I've never done. I'm just getting into it right now. And um, I thought that maybe it would be nice for you guys to see me begin my journey on this process. So what I did was about a week ago, I took a, a new GeForce RTX 3060 Ti and I just dropped it into an old computer that I had laying around. I got it connected to Ethermine and I started mining. I was getting about a 35 mega hash per second rate on it and um, seemed like it was about $6 in a, in a week that I had made. So I roughly proved it out that it works but what I want to do is I want to build a new rig using these components here and put the video cards into that and hopefully I can get a better hash rate and prove out the process of actually building a rig and getting it up and running. So I wanted to start with a frame. I bought on eBay, this is an 8 GPU mining rig frame with the fan mount and this was $23.99 with the shipping. So this is the frame that we're going to use to build this system. So I'm sure you guys have seen these. It's just a simple frame where you can mount the motherboard and the graphics cards, the fans, and uh, here's going to be the hardware and other accessories. So I'm going to do that separately, but I just wanted to show you that's what we're starting with, that frame. And again, we got it for $23.99 on eBay. So the motherboard that I chose is an Asus B250 Mining Expert. It's got an LGA 1151 socket. And seems like it would be good for crypto mining it's made for it i got it for 4.99 now i've seen this board anywhere between like 75 dollars and over a thousand dollars i'm sure you guys have seen the same thing let me know what your experience is has anybody bought one of these off of aliexpress had a good experience with it i just wanted something reliable and quick so i bought it from newegg and again, that was the price that I got. It was about $500, $4.99 for this board here. So this motherboard, obviously, it's meant for mining crypto. It's got your CPU slot and your RAM slots, but mainly what the feature is here is all these different slots for all your different graphics cards. So, uh, I don't know, in, in researching it really quick, it seemed like that was a good motherboard to go with. So that's what we bought for this build. Okay, so the processor that I chose is a Celeron, Intel Celeron G3900. It's called a Skylake Dual Core LGA 1151 processor. Uh, this isn't really anything special. This only costs seventy dollars, and I don't think that, um, from what I've researched, the processor you don't need to have like a very powerful processor. Everything is being done on the graphics cards. But you have your uh, processor in there, and there's a fan, and it looks like they already got your thermal paste on there. So we should just pop it right on the board. Once we get the processor on there, it should be easy. So again, that's the processor, and that was $70. Uh, shipping, $9.99, so just about $80 total for that processor. Now, for the hard drive, I went with the Kingston A400. This is a 120 gig uh, standard uh, solid state drive. I think that would be sufficient. It doesn't need to be anything bigger than that, and um, that should probably boot good and fast. So that cost $18.99 on the Newegg there. So for the RAM, I went with Crucial. This is 8 gigs of RAM. It's two 4 gigabyte sticks that are DDR4, 2400 
megahertz DRAM. So again, nothing really special, but um, just should be enough to run the uh, run what we need on this board. That cost uh, thirty three ninety nine for that RAM. Okay, so next up, I purchased. This is a six pack of version. 009S Plus. This is mining dedicated PCIe riser. This is basically the riser adapters. We're going to need to plug from the motherboard, we're going to need to plug the different video cards into it. So we got a bunch of these, which is going to, with the cables, you're going to be able to plug into the slots on the board here and then have the uh, graphics cards plugged into there. So I got a six pack. Obviously we don't need all six of them, but uh, maybe eventually I'm going to end up putting more video cards into this rig and then we'll be able to take full advantage of that. So the six pack of the risers, the adapters, all that with the wiring and all this cost uh, $65.99 on uh, Newegg. So that's that. And next is the um, power supply. Now, the power supply that I got, and uh, feel free to give me feedback on this, but rather than getting your traditional ATX power supply, I got a server power supply. This is a DPS 1200 FB. And um, I mean, it, it says it's for GPU mining. And uh, we got it on eBay for $86.44. Now, this power supply, it's a, like I said, it's a, it's a 1200 FB, right? So the 1200 watts that it's rated at is if you have it plugged into 240 volts. We're going to be using this at 120, so it's only going to be 900 watts. But I think 900 watts is more than plenty to do what we're doing here uh, on this rig so far. So I think that's that's good. It should be it should suffice for the uh, price. It should be good. So uh, also with this power supply unit, you got your uh, cables, and it came with a breakout board. We'll need the breakout board to use in conjunction with the power supply. That's going to give us the plugs to plug in the power and all that for our different um, video cards. So I thought that was nice how they bundled it with the power supply, the breakout board, and the cables that we'll need for uh, building this rig. So again, that was $86.44 on eBay for that. So that is going to be the rig itself. Um, obviously, we're going to be plugging, um, I got initially two video cards, and um, we proved this out, and then we'll be putting more video cards in there. But um, I wanted to do these last because this is um, a separate stage of the building phase of the rig. So the first video card I got, like I said, it was an RTX 3060 Ti. And um, this is uh, LHR low hash rate, uh, $479.99 with shipping. Uh, right now, that's the going rate on uh, Newegg.com. So that's the, uh, that's the first video card that we got, like I said, right here. And then the uh, next video card we have is the MSI Ventus GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. This has got um, 8 gigs of DDR6X uh, PCI Express 4.0. So um, hopefully we'll get a better hash rate with this video card here. Um, I'm going to open it up right now. I think that, uh, like I said, with the 3060 here, I was getting um, 35 mega hash. I've seen people getting close to 60 when they're using Hive OS. So that's what I was planning on doing is, is flashing Hive OS onto the solid state drive and seeing if we can get close to that 60 uh, mega hash rate with the 3060. And obviously I'm hoping for even better with the uh, 3070 here. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I don't know. Do I go for the 3080? Do I go for the 3090 next? But here's the uh, 3070 that we're going to put in there. So it's got the three fans on there. Really nice. 
So that will be really nice to see what kind of hash rate we're getting with that. And um, again, I just want to prove this out, see, see what we can get, see if this works. So again, um, I see uh, the price is fluctuating a lot on these uh, currently. When I printed this off, uh, Newegg has this for $789.99. But at the time that I purchased it, it was just over $700, $706 uh, with the shipping for that video card there. And they even threw in this cool uh, new gaming mouse pad. It's a gaming mouse pad for, um, for free. They threw that in there. So I didn't need to really get a, a keyboard and mouse, but I thought I would get a keyboard and mouse set for this. I figure when I boot it up, probably going to have to play with the BIOS settings and um, at least initially for a while it would be nice to have this to, um, to control the computer with. So that costs $32.99 for the keyboard and mouse set. It's a uh, Perix Paraduo 707B wireless mini keyboard and mouse set. So $32.99 for that. And another thing that I didn't need to buy, I haven't received it yet, but I purchased a UPS. It's an AP, uh, APC BX1500M backups, 1500 volt amp, 900 watt, 10 outlet, uninterruptible power supply. Uh, we're in an area where we have power outages and lightning storms, and I thought it'd just be good to help keeping this thing protected from the surges, and also in case the power goes out momentarily, uh, keep the thing running. So again, not necessary for this build, but I just thought it'd be good to protect it. Uh, with the shipping from Newegg, this is uh, $176.98 for that, for the UPS. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this and putting it all together and then seeing if I can get it up and running. That's my first goal is actually getting this up and running and connected and actually uh, mining. I, I then want to uh, optimize the settings, get a really good hash rate going, prove out the, uh, the money making process of this and see how we can make it profitable, if we can make it profitable. Um, like I said, we, we, you might uh, see as we're going down this journey, I might be putting more and uh, different video cards in here. If you guys have suggestions, thoughts, uh, feedback, uh, whatever kind of uh, critique, I will admit again, I'm just learning this as we go here. So I'm definitely open to whatever feedback that, uh, that you guys have out there. So uh, please stay tuned for more. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe.